watching News for Tucson, live at noon, with Angelique Lazardi and Shay Sorensen. Welcome back, 1214 now. Right now, we are in an alert day for tonight and the Friday morning. Let's get straight to forewarn, or excuse me, Storm Tracker 4. Meteorologist Shay Sorensen. Shay, what are you tracking for us right now? Oh, there's a lot going on right now, though. This is going to be the most quiet part of your Thursday. It's going to be very, very windy the rest of the afternoon, so please keep that in mind. We're talking gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour, but the impacts for tonight and tomorrow include heavy rain and heavy snowfall. That all begins tonight into early tomorrow morning, and we do have an update since this morning. Uh, it looks like showers are going to roll in a little bit earlier, so we'll take you through that in your future tracker. Now, when it comes to the impacts of uh, your commute tomorrow, you have to be aware of standing water and running washes. We're expecting some pretty heavy rainfall overnight. We've had a lot of heavy rain over the past couple of weeks, so the ground is saturated and that means washes could run. So please, please, please be extra safe and always remember to turn around. Don't drown. If you commute early in the morning before the sun comes up, that's going to be even more dangerous because of course it'll be dark out. Icy slushy roads for the high elevations above 6,500 feet and it is all thanks to this guy right here. This area of low pressure is making its way onshore into southern California. Look at all of that rain that is coming our way, but ahead of this front, it's going to be windy and you've probably already noticed that if you've been outside at all, but our next weather maker is creating this. Look at that. Very, very gusty out there. This is near 12th and Valencia, our storm tracker uh, for uh, Skycam network. Uh, again, at 12th and Valencia showing some pretty gusty conditions. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the current wind gusts right around 33 miles per hour here in Tucson, 32 in Nogales, 25 miles per hour in cells and around 30 miles per hour in Douglas. We could see wind gusts as high as about 40, maybe 45 miles per hour. And that's why earlier this morning we told you to secure loose objects before you uh, left the house because you could come home to wind damage if you didn't. Uh, today's highs though pushing into the mid 70s for the warmest spots, so actually going to be a nice day temperature wise, but very windy overnight lows tonight in the 20s, 30s and 40s, and we've also got rain and snow. So for your future tracker, this is at 4 p.m. Most of us are still dry with the exception of possibly some showers up in the White Mountains, but as we work our way towards about 8 p.m. tonight, that is when we could start to see some light showers. Now earlier this morning we had that rainfall coming in around 9 p.m., so it is uh, coming through a little bit earlier, about an hour earlier since this morning. Also out towards the west, we've got some moderate to heavy showers coming through around that time. By 11 p.m., it looks like this is when the heaviest showers will be rolling through. This is right along that cold front that continues eastward into tomorrow morning and we'll definitely be waking up to pockets of heavy rainfall by 3 a.m. So again, if you leave the house early, early tomorrow morning, you're going to run into some problems in Cochise, Graham and Greenlee County. And then by 7 a.m. tomorrow, I don't like the way this looks because look at all this heavy rainfall in eastern Pima County. This is when a lot of us start our commutes in the morning. So we could be dealing with, uh, of course, wet roadways, running washes and low visibility because of heavy rainfall around that time and of course heavy snowfall too. By 1 p.m. in the afternoon, things are looking a little bit better, still more scattered in nature, kind of more off and on, but we could even be dealing with some rumbles of thunder too, some isolated thunderstorms tomorrow. So another thing to look out for and listen out for, listen out for that thunder. By 5 p.m., maybe a nice little thunderstorm developing on the northwest side. That continues eastward, and by 11 p.m., most of us should start to dry out by that point, if not into very early portions of your Saturday morning. Forecast rainfall totals, very impressive, especially for the higher to rain in southern portions of Pinal County, Oracle, potentially an inch and a half of rainfall down a little bit in Nogales earlier this morning was showing a little bit over an inch now down to just over a half inch of rain. So these numbers are going to jump around just a little bit. So be sure to tune in around 3 p.m. with Daniel McFarland. He'll have an update on those rainfall totals, but winter weather advisory in effect at 8 p.m. tonight until 11 p.m. Friday. Snow totals ranging between 6 to 12 inches above 6,500 feet. That includes the Catalina's ring cons through the White Mountains very heavy snowfall. Uh, Summer Haven seeing potentially six to eight inches, but places like Ski, Fa uh, Ski Valley over a foot potentially. Same deal up towards the White Mountains, but the Chiricahuas, the Dragoons, maybe even the Mule Mountains near Bisbee getting a little bit of a bite. The Huachucas and Santa Rita's should also see some decent snowfall. Storm Tracker 4 alert days today and tomorrow. Very busy tonight into tomorrow morning. Be sure to tune in right here as well. We will help you get out the door. It's going to be a messy, messy commute. Mid 50s for your Friday and Saturday overnight low going into Sunday morning. Very, very cold and then we're not done. The next weather maker that we're keeping a close eye on could arrive as early as Tuesday night. So we're tracking more as we work our way into next week.